and I would like to welcome you very warmly to our classroom for I Have a Secret. During this workshop, we are going to make a journal that will incorporate some of our secrets. Uh, so at first glance, people won't be able to see exactly what we're trying to say, and we're going to do it in very clever ways. But before we get started, and I know you're anxious to get started, uh, let me just go through a quick review of what we'll be doing in this class and I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Prior to this, I had a very successful career as a muralist. I used to paint children's rooms. I did lots of garden rooms. Um, big girl bedrooms were my specialty. Lots of pinks, lots of lavenders. And after doing that for almost 10 years, it got to the point where it was time to kind of put down the big paintbrushes and take up the smaller ones. And that's when I discovered journaling. My formal training was as an interior designer. I've also worked corporate. So it's a varied career, as I'm sure many of you have working careers at this particular point in time and use your art to express yourselves for your own personal use. I know some of you doing this are professional artists and I welcome everyone. This is your classroom. We will all be sharing. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I welcome your input. I think it's wonderful. I'd like to say that it's taken all my life to get to the point where I am now and that is to enjoy my art and enjoy my work. Let me tell you a little bit about what inspired this particular workshop. You'll be able to see more if you look through the listing at the beginning of this class and you will see that there is a specific video called Inspiration. And during that Inspiration video, you're going to have an opportunity to really kind of go where no one else has been. You're going to see some of my weight loss journals I've had two of them, and yes, they were weight loss journals. They're very private. No one has seen them. You're the first, so shh, because I have lots of secrets hidden in those journals. This first journal was a gift from someone, and that was actually the beginning of incorporating secret things into journals for me. And I will be sharing this during that inspiration journal along with a lot, a lot of other tips and hints. This workshop has a series of videos and many of us don't have time to sit and watch all of them at one fell swoop. I understand that. I tried to break this down into nice little pieces so as you have time and your schedule allows, you can sit down and enjoy each and every one of them. You may or may not want to watch them in order. That's fine. It's your class. You know what your interests are. I've tried to break things down as clearly and concisely as I possibly can. So yes, there is a dedicated video to the PDFs. We go through all of them. There is a video about printing and you might just say oh, why did she give us a video on printing I know how to print well you know that I'm known for my rich color and I want you to get the same type of rich color from the PDFs that's all explained in that particular video um, I know it might sound a little mundane but I think it just might be worth your while to just give it a watch a quick watch. There are some tips about printing in there that um, I think you might enjoy. We will be making a journal. There will be a PDF about the particular materials that are necessary to make the journal. It's just using a manila envelope and some cardstock. So if you've got a journal you'd like to use, that's fine. If you don't have a journal, by all means, you're more than welcome to follow along and we're going to make this journal. Um, what's nice about this particular journal is it's got a secret right at the get-go. If you do it, you will see that there is a pocket inside so that you can begin to start your secrets right in the cover. I like that. 
So we will be doing this together if you so choose. Again, if not, if you've got a composition book or a special journal, by all means we can incorporate so many of the ideas that you're going to see within your journal. Again, it's your class. If you are going to do the journal, don't forget, check the materials list and you want to download the instructions that are in the PD listing of PDFs. When I mentioned the journal, I did mention that we will be doing some backgrounds. So I'm going to show you how to do some basic backgrounds using gesso, cardstock, acrylics, and watercolor. Um, I think those are my most popular and quickest methods of getting color on a page. I want to show you how I get this brilliant color on a page. I know you're interested in that. And what I will do is I will take you through and show you how to do some of these backgrounds. Not all of them, we don't have enough time, but I'll give you a fundamental, rudimentary idea of how I get this color in my grounds. This is, again, the same envelope journal that began with the manila envelope and is filled with cardstock. So, again, if you'd like to make this journal, you're more than welcome to follow along if not, please use your journal. Just remember to have fun with it. It's all about fun. Before we go further and you download your PDFs, please take a look at the materials list. I know at first glance you're going to say, oh my God, what did she do? I'm going to have to go and get about $100 worth of art supplies. No, 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 no. We don't want you to do that. No, 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 no. I would like you to first read the list, go through, and I'm sure you have a lot of the things that are there. You know, don't go crazy, just read the list. If you have scrapbooking supplies, this is the time to break out your washi tape. This is the time to break out your uh, edge punches and your scrapbook punches, scrapbook paper, old scraps of things and art backgrounds that you've done. I keep all of that. If you have embellishments, use them by all means. Uh, stickers, transfers, um, any kind of scrapbooking materials. They're great. Incorporate them. Don't be afraid. Recycled materials. Oh my God, I love recycled materials. I just love them. I'm always asking my son and my husband to say, Oh, don't throw that away. I need that in my work. So as you go through my journal, you're going to see a lot of recycled stuff, and um, that'll inspire you, hopefully, too. Thanks for watching. Thank you for signing up for my workshop, and thank you for being in my classroom. I truly appreciate it. I know we're going to have a lot of fun. I invite you to share your opinions and to ask questions. I want this to be interactive. I want to be here for you. I think that's important. We're here to learn, and believe it or not, I think I'm going to learn as much from you as probably more than what you'll learn from me. So get yourself nice and comfortable, look over all of the class materials, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for coming. Bye. Namaste.